If you are considering buying a munchkin cat, here are the top 10 reasons why you should not get a munchkin cat. As adorable and plump as they may be, the munchkin breed has a lot of problems associated with them that you must know before getting one. So let's get started. Number one, not ideal for outdoor living. Munchkin cats, known for their distinctively short legs, are not considered ideal candidates for outdoor living. This characteristic presents a variety of challenges and concerns when it comes to allowing munchkin cats to roam outdoors due to their limited mobility and shorter stride. Munchkin cats are more vulnerable to potential dangers outdoors. They may not be able to escape from predators or navigate obstacles as easily as cats with longer legs. Number two, there are plenty of normal cats that need homes. The biggest reason why you shouldn't buy a munchkin cat is there are so many other cats that need homes. Shelters are overflowing with them. As cute as munchkin cats may be, shelter cats are in such abundance that it doesn't make sense to buy a specialty breed. Every time someone buys from a cat breeder, a cat in an animal shelter misses out on getting their forever home. This is especially sad in kill shelters where many cats are put down every single day. By buying a munchkin cat, you support people who create more cats. When in reality, we should support fewer cats. They are so abundant all over the world, and the last thing that we need is more of them. Number three, difficulty jumping and climbing. Munchkin cats are easily recognizable by their short legs and adorable appearance. However, this unique trait can also pose a challenge for them. Due to their shortened limbs, munchkin cats may experience difficulty in jumping and climbing compared to other cat breeds. Jumping and climbing are essential activities for cats. They help cats explore their environment, exercise, and stay mentally stimulated. Unfortunately, munchkin cats' physical limitations may hinder their ability to perform these activities effectively. As a result, they may experience limitations that negatively affect their physical and mental well-being. One of the potential risks associated with munchkin cats' difficulty in jumping and climbing is an increased risk of injury. They may struggle to reach higher surfaces such as countertops or bookshelves, leading to falls and injuries. Additionally, their shortened legs make it harder for them to land safely when jumping down from elevated areas. Number four, their life expectancy is shorter. A munchkin cat's life expectancy is several years shorter than that of an average cat. An ordinary house cat can live for 15 to 20 years, while a munchkin cat lives for 10 to 12 years. Some of this comes down to breeding and the kinds of things that happen to the animal throughout the process. But most likely, this shorter lifespan is due to their many health issues. This is not only sad for their caretaker, but more importantly, it's horrible for the animal. Many specially bred pets have much shorter life expectancies for various reasons. It is up to us as buyers to stop supporting the practice of breeding animals that have such a low quality of life. Oftentimes, lifespan even gets worse as the specialty breed is bred repeatedly. Number five, they have health issues. Another reason why you shouldn't buy a munchkin cat is they have a lot of health issues. This can lead to unimaginable vet bills, but it is also very hard on the cat. Munchkin cats are especially prone to lordosis, a condition that causes a curved spine, leaving them deformed. Another condition is pectus excavatum where the chest is not properly formed, leaving the sternum and ribs improperly placed. This can kill a munchkin cat, but it can be treated if found early on, but requires intensive surgery. Munchkin cats are also prone to osteoarthritis due to their short legs. As cute as these short legs may be, they still have to hold up a full-sized cat, so their joints often begin to give them trouble with age. Some other serious health concerns that munchkin cats face are hyperthyroidism, pancreatitis, uremia, lymphosarcoma, and feline lower urinary tract disease. These conditions all negatively impact the quality of life that munchkin cats have, and it can lower their life expectancy. Number six, their quality of life is less. You shouldn't buy a munchkin cat because of the many issues and problems that they might face. Not only is their lifespan often cut short, but they might also face a life of complicated health issues. This is hard for an animal and it can be hard to help them or even know if they are sick. They also are limited in what they can do. Like any normal cat, munchkins love to jump and pounce, but their short legs prevent that. 
they cannot do some of the things that they instinctively want to do because of how short their legs are. This is very sad since they have been intentionally deformed to appear cuter. Number seven, it supports breeders. Another reason why you shouldn't buy a munchkin cat is that it supports breeders. Breeders support creating new animals and specialty breeders support a practice that should die away. Specialty animals are created purely for the enjoyment of humans with little thought to the animal. Many are sickly and live difficult and short lives. This is all done because people want a pet with a distinct look no matter how the animal may suffer. Breeders support this demand and the only way to stop this is to stop buying from them. Number eight, limited breeding ethics. Some argue that breeding munchkin cats raises ethical questions related to their physical traits. It's essential to choose a responsible breeder if you decide to go this route. Number nine, not ideal for agility training. Agility training is a popular and engaging activity for many cat owners, involving teaching cats to navigate through obstacle courses, tunnels, and various challenges. However, munchkin cats may not be the most suitable choice for agility training due to several factors. Attempting agility training that requires jumping and quick movements may put added physical stress on the munchkin cat's spine and limbs. They could be more prone to strain or injury, which is a primary concern for their long-term health and well-being. Number 10, social challenges. The most significant social challenge for munchkin cats is their physical appearance, specifically their short legs. This unique characteristic can make it difficult for them to move around and interact with other cats in a typical manner. As a result, Munchkin cats may struggle to make friends or feel isolated in social situations. On top of this, munchkin cats often face negative attention from animal welfare organizations and some members of the public who consider breeding these cats as unethical. This can lead to social challenges for owners who may feel criticized or even ridiculed for owning a munchkin cat. Furthermore, due to their physical limitations, Munchkin cats may find it hard to explore their environment and engage in activities with their owners. For instance, climbing stairs and jumping onto furniture can be challenging tasks for them, which can lead to feelings of frustration and isolation. In summary, the munchkin cat is an adorable and playful pet that can bring joy to any household. However, it's important to acknowledge the potential drawbacks that come with their unique physical appearance and genetic mutation. Short legs may lead to spinal problems, respiratory issues, and a higher risk of obesity and diabetes. Despite these challenges, responsible pet ownership can help mitigate these risks. Providing a comfortable living environment with appropriate toys and structures can keep them mentally stimulated and active. Regular veterinary checkups can catch health issues early on, while monitoring their weight and feeding habits can prevent obesity. It's also worth noting that negative stereotypes surrounding their appearance may lead to social challenges for both cat and owner. However, with patience and understanding, munchkin cats can make loving companions like any other breed. In conclusion, owning a munchkin cat requires careful consideration of their unique needs and potential health risks. With proper care and attention, they can thrive as happy members of your family.